Uh, this tutorial will show you how to use hotspots inside of the panoramas for navigation. Start here with first panorama. And I'll drop in the PNG hotspot in order to be able to mount it into place. I'll change it from spot over to box, which makes it distorted. I'll use the on-screen tools here to move it a little bit around. This is for for changing its angle, where to point to, and rotation, etc. So let's put it here, and then I want to link it to open another panorama. Uh, there we have the hotspot, and it should only be seen in the first panorama. So it should only be seen in this one. Select hotspot is visible in the follow panels. That's number one. There are no other panoramas in the project as of yet, but now I drop this second panorama onto the hotspot, and the second one appears here. When I click the hotspot here, drop this tool, it will go to the second panorama. This is only the low resolution because I have not reloaded the project to update. Now it will show low resolution and then go to the high resolution. And here I can put in a different type of hotspot. Let's say that on the door. The SWF hotspot. And there I can put the third panorama. Appears here the third panorama. I need to reload to to get not only the low resolution. So I'll go to the second panorama, turn a bit around here. There's the hotspot. Go to the third panorama. And here the hotspot is still visible. So I need to make sure it's only visible in the second panorama. Highlight the second and move it over. And there I can put an animated GIF file put that here. It is only one frame per second by default. I go to hotspot 2 and I increase the frame rate to let's say 6 here. And rotate it. And there I will add the fourth panorama, no, third panorama, second, no, third, this is the fourth panorama, yeah, fourth panorama here. It's processing and then goes up in speed again. So disable those tools, click it, go to the fourth panorama. Make sure it's only seen in the third panorama. And then I will use a hotspot here, a video file, MP4. Put it into the mirror. Hotspots 2, I change the way displayed there by having it for screen. Or maybe I could put it into the TV, might be a bit nicer. resize it and resizing can be done by using the shift key on the keyboard in combination with the mouse that makes it slower and more precise and there it is and then I just drop the first panorama onto this one and now we have a circle of connection the video needs to be in a loop so it will always be playing and disable click in the video meaning can click on the video but it will not stop the video. Uh, it will still work as a hotspot. It has the hand cursor and button mode. So reload the video, uh, the fire, yeah. The 
to change the file so it's only visible in the fourth panorama so now we have a loop here go from the first panorama to the second one second one to the third one third one to the fourth one and the fourth one to the first one so this is how you link the panoramas to hotspots uh, for this kind of uh, navigation thank you